Today what we are going to do is we are going to create our first GitHub action. So we are going to create a pipeline for continuous integration. As a part of continuous integration, the steps are we are going to create a new React application. After creating a, re a new React application, we are going to dockerize it. And then we are going to set up a CI which will basically compile our code and deploy Docker Hub. Let's get started. First, what we are going to do is we are going to use npx create react app command. So that will be npx create react app and then the name of the app. So let's say, uh, I would say my GitHub action. Now the application is created after a few minutes. So let's CD into our application, CD GitHub actions, and then npm start. As you can see, the application is started in a new tab, and this is the base application. So let's close this and then start our coding. So to dockerize this application, we need to create a Docker file. What I'm going to do is I have already created and I'm going to copy that file over. So that'll be, and I'll give a link for this particular repository so you can do the same thing. So I have copied a Docker file here. Uh, so let's keep going. Once the Docker file is created, we can use the command to dockerize this application just for the internal purpose and for testing. So to do that, what we have to do is let's do ls command and we can see the docker file is on the root of our application we are going to do docker build period meaning the current repository so they can find the docker file on the current path of working path and then hyphen t we are going to tag our application so let's say github action colon 1.0 all right so let's do this in time, what I'm going to do is I'll go to github.com and create a new repository there. Okay, and then create repository. So we are going to follow this path because we already have a code on our local machine. So let's do this, just copy this path here. Okay, command T, go to the tab, ls, we can paste this command here, git remote add origin, and the next command is grid branch. So for this particular uh, application, we are not going to do main, we are going to do master. And then simply push the code. Okay, so git push hyper new origin master. Now go back to our GitHub and then refresh the code. As you can see, we already have everything available here, all the code that was pushed from the local machine. And let's check, go back here and check. Okay, it's still running the npm ci command. In the meantime, I'll go to Docker Hub. we can go to github actions this is our repository and let's start creating our first github action and i'll go back to this so to do that we can click on actions on the top of the repository you are in the repository path and click on actions set up a new workflow for by yourself and i'll provide the link to this particular file so you can copy it over so what we are doing is we are going to anything that gets pushed into our branch. So here we are going to change master branch. We are using a Docker image that is Ubuntu operating system. And then these are the basic you can read about Kimu and Docker build X and login. So what, what it essentially does is it provides as a base code where we can just pass the Docker user and Docker password. And it automatically logs into our Docker Hub account 
providing, we are not going to provide a password, user, and then the password. The password will be our token that we are going to generate. So to do that, let's get going. And you can see here, this is the name of our application. So my na name of the application is GitHub. I'm going to change this, GitHub action. I can name whatever I like here. It doesn't have to be the same name. All right, so once I did it, how does GitHub read the Docker user and Docker password? So for that, what we are going to do is we are going to commit the code Once the code is committed, what we are going to do is we are going to go to settings. Under the secrets and variable, we have actions. In the actions, we can add a variables. So to add a variable, we can just click on new repository variable. And here we can provide, um, let's go back to our variable. So we named our variable docker underscore user for the username. So I'm going to do docker underscore user. That will be the username of your Docker Hub. So in my case, this is my username. So you do that, add variable. And then we are going to add another variable, which is docker token. But I named it in my YAML file as password. I'll go back and I'll show it again one more time. So we do docker underscore password here, and then for the password, we are going to generate a new, to new token. So we can say account settings from Docker Hub. Security, new access token. And for the record, I'm going to delete this token once I'm done with pushing the code and uploading it on YouTube. So we can say test token one, and then there are permissions, so you can decide what permission you would like to give. So I'll, in my case, I'll do read, write, and delete, generate. And you can read about the warnings and all those things. We go here and push add variable. Now we have created these two variable, docker underscore password, docker underscore user. So we go back to our um, repository within the repository we have this and then the main.yaml file in the main.yaml file you can see docker underscore user and docker underscore password those two we retrieve from our repository environmental variable settings so we get that and then we use this uh, docker build push action to push our repository there on this particular docker hub account so now that uh, Docker image is built locally. Let's test it. Docker images, as you can see, GitHub Actions. So let's run that just to verify if it's working or not. So we can see Docker run hyphen P 3000 is the port we want to navigate and redirect from 80 and then the name of the repository, which is this. Let's copy this, paste it, and then the version, which is 1.0. You can decide to run it on detach mode, but for now, I'm just going to run it. So now the application is working. Let's go back to here, localhost 1000, and bam. Let me just close this just to show localhost 3000. So you can see our application is running and let me make one more call so you can see on the side that the, uh, it is strong going through our Docker image. So you can see in the background. As you can see, the requests are going through the browser to the Docker container. Let's kill this, clear, and now go back to our GitHub action. What we said was, we are once we push our changes to master branch, it should automatically do a CI. So let's do that testing now, the final part of the application. So I'm going to create a new, uh, new branch. So let's do the final testing. The final testing implies 
we want to push our changes to master branch. Once we push our and push the changes, meaning we open up a pull request, merge, merge the changes into the master branch, it should automatically start a CI, okay? So for that, let's create a branch. Okay, check out hyphen B feature test CI. This command allows us to basically create a new branch and then check out. So git branch. You can see that there are two branch, one is master and the one that I just created. So with the help of checkout, we can create and check out at the same time. All right, so for this, we are going to make a small change to the application. Um, here, we go to readme file, just update something there my first ci using docker and github action okay save it and then go back to the terminal gate status git add hyphen hyphen all git commit hyphen m for message we can say my first commit and then git push git push and then the name of the branch once it is pushed we can open up a pull request from our account so we go back here pull request compare and pull we are merging from this branch to master yes create a pull request okay merge confirm merge all right so it is merged and now we go back to actions we go to as you can see a brown icon here meaning it has started you can click on docker and notice the changes are going through okay so docker login did not work huh let's see username and password required okay so what what just happened here I'm not sure what happened here. Did I not save it? I don't see a variables here. Okay. New repository secrets. Let's say Docker user. And add secret. And then um, hopefully I have, okay. Yeah, I do have a token there. Okay. New secret. Okay. Docker password and then save it copy add secret okay repository secret added all right go back to actions and restart the ci okay so if you want to run a failed job again what you would have to do is you click on go on actions click on your workflow this is the name that we have given within our main.yml file of our workflow we click on the failed one and then rerun the job rerun failed jobs and then rerun failed job okay let's see the logs here now as you can see the job is completed successfully green tick mark here and you have noticed that it did not uh, throw an error like before login credential error so now go back to the docker hub let me close this, go back to account. And here, as you can see, the Docker image was pushed into my account and you can see the path, GitHub Actions. Thank you for watching my video. Please support me and let me know what are the other contents you would be interested in, in the comments below. I'll have a link to Docker file and link to github actions yaml file thank you very much see you again in the next video